see it for what it was, a blatant attempt to seek revenge following dismissal. The business secretary's defence amid an escalating row over the government's approach to the post office scandal. What a tone today will send to the postmasters, I'll say this, it's more cover-up, more ossification, it's just more of the same we've seen over many, many years. This is the political point scoring which I talked about earlier, which we need to, which, which we just need to stop. He is, in, rather than focus on the issue, he's talking about my tweeting. Um, I think maybe he should get off Twitter and actually listen to what I'm saying. It's after accusations of attempts to delay victim payouts ahead of an election. And now a war of words. On one side, Henry Staunton, former post office chair, sacked last month, who made the claims. On the other, Kemi Badenoch. Mr Staunton's told Sky News he's standing by his accusations. The public appointment process was underway. Watching and questioning the government's delivery on promises, lawyer David Enright for the victims, nearly six weeks on from the announcement of a blanket quashing of convictions. It was a knee-jerk reaction to a TV drama. Rather than sit down and come up with a plan as to what to do, they announced that effectively there were going to be two Christmases this year. And we all know there's only going to be one. The government failed to consult with the Ministry of Justice. It failed to consult with the judiciary. It just came out and made an announcement which got it out of a very tight hole. Vijay had his conviction overturned in 2021 and qualifies for a £600,000 payout, but says that isn't even half of what he lost. They need to get rid of these people who are looking at the compensation schemes and get independent uh, people to come and have a look at our claims and let them sort out the figure work. You can't put a price on this scandal, tell you the truth. Uh, how do you calculate 16 years of your life gone down the drain? The government's under pressure to protect their reputation. Hence the decision to release documents supporting their denials. But it's still at a time when the public perception exists widely that there has been a lack of transparency on this scandal on a political level for years. And still concerns over a lack of urgency. We need to get on with the legislation. We need to speed up the compensation uh, scheme so people get redress. Uh, we also need to uh, ensure that uh, we don't just take the word of the Secretary of State that Henry Stroughton is lying. Uh, she has to come out and actually explain why in detail. There's a risk victims are getting lost in a political drama. And the view from campaigners so far, there are more words than actions. Adele Robinson, Sky News. Well, in a statement this evening, responding to the business secretary, Mr Staunton's lawyers said Mr Staunton is not in the habit of resorting to fabrication or invention and decided to go public out of a desire to ensure that the public were fully aware of the facts surrounding the multiple failures that have led to postmasters in this country being badly let down.